Batman the Video Game, Sunsoft's NES classic inspired by the 1989 movie by Tim Burton, Batman. Batman on NES features great graphics, style, sound, music, and gameplay, and a real challenge. If you'd like to see more about this video game, check out my own review on Happy Beard Games that I did in the past of the game Batman. Now, Batman is one of my top favorite games in the NES library. It's actually in the top 10 of my favorite games. I'm not sure where I'd place it just yet, but it's definitely up there with favorite games on the system. And so much, in fact, that it's inspiring me to work on a new costume, a cosplay costume. Now, I haven't really been involved in cosplay in the past, but last year, for the review that I just mentioned of this game that I did on this channel, I dressed up as Batman, and it was a little bit different than your normal Batman, as you might have been able to tell, but it wasn't perfect. And that costume included inspirations from the design of the video game. Now in the video game, if you don't know and if you haven't seen it yet, there should be some graphics on screen, but it's got a different color palette for Batman, and that's mostly, from what I know, it's mostly because the backgrounds are dark, and they didn't want Batman to be black and gray. So, in that sense, they changed his color palette to purple and blue, and it looks really cool to me. It looks really iconic from the video game. Now, I'm working on going to a convention called the Portland Retro Game Expo, and I really want to go there. And I'm working on this cosplay costume to go to that convention. Now, there's a slim chance that I won't wear it even if I complete it, but there's also a very good chance that I will wear it if I complete it, and if it all works out. Now, this is going to be a small series of videos that will detail the creation process of this costume. And different episodes of this series, there should be about four or five different episodes, will focus on a different piece of the cosplay costume. So, for example, there's a mask, there's the gloves, there's the cape, si simple parts of the Batman costume that are really iconic and you should know right just by looking at Batman. Different parts of the costume are what we're going to focus on in each episode. And just to let you know, this is going to be a full Batman costume based upon the NES game Batman. Now to take you back to about a year ago when I first created this costume and I had these ideas stirring in my head. It's been a while coming up, but I think I'm about ready to focus on a full costume. But a year ago, this is what the costume looked like. Essentially, I had a Batman t-shirt. It wasn't this shirt, but it had the bat signal in the center, the Batman logo that he has on his chest usually. And I had some very simple cotton gloves, stretchy gloves. Um, I also had a cape that was a very basic cape that I got with my Darth Vader costume, which I've worn in other videos. But that's a simple thing, just for videos. And then I had this Batman mask. This is the exact one that I wore. It's a very, very simple, very basic Batman mask. And it's just a little too small for me. The quality is not that great. And it doesn't have a back. So it's a very simple half-face mask. And then, this isn't what I wore last time, but it's something that I already had. It's a belt. Batman wears a belt, but this time we're wearing a Nintendo NES-style belt. So that way people really get the reference that it is a Nintendo-based character. Not Nintendo, but the Nintendo game, Batman. And last time I also had these purple, stretchy, skinny jeans, which are pretty tight, but not too tight. And they are definitely purple jeans, and they're the closest I could get to finding purple, because remember guys, this costume is based off the Nintendo character. And that was pretty much it. I had a cape, I had the mask, I had the pants, I had some very simple gloves, and it looked alright, it got the job done for what I was trying to do, but for a full costume, it's not really that great. And I didn't do that much to customize it myself. Now in these videos, I'm going to not only be working on specific pieces of equipment that are already purchased, like they come like as they are from the store, but I'm also going to be working on those pieces. So with the gloves, I'll be cutting them and shaping them and painting them. With the face mask, I will also be painting that with spray paint. Hopefully that works. I don't know yet. We're going to find that out in these videos. And it's going to be a visual process of showing me working on those specific pieces of costume. And there's also a cape. 
So, uh, let's see what's in this box here that I got today. This is a big package. I just got it in the mail right before I started recording, and it is going to be open now. Alright, now assuming that everything is included that I ordered is still in the same box, and also assuming that everything's going to work out, we're going to check out these items right now as they are fresh in this video, and then I'm going to try on the full costume as it is today. It's not going to look finished, of course, but we're going to work on it over the progress of a few months and a few different videos. So let's see what's in this box, because I don't really know exactly how this is going to turn out. we got some... Uh, bubble wrap stuff. We've also got this, which is the Batman Adult Gauntlets. These are based off the Batman v Superman movie, but, uh, so I'm not really sure if they're going to be the exact type, because I'm going for a Batman 89 costume with Michael Keaton, and this might look a little different, but we're going to modify it once again to make it closer to the 89 Batman. And from what I looked online, it's pretty close. Also, we're going to be painting it purple. So let's uh, open it up so I can show you and show myself what they're like. This is what they look like so far. It looks like the hand part's a little stretchy. It has some detail on the knuckles, which I'll show you close up, of course. And it has these little, like, I don't really know what they're called. They're like fins or spikes that have, uh, that Batman has on the edge of his gloves. And usually most Batman costumes have that effect. And we're going to open this up and try these on. But for now, this is what they look like. And they're based on the Batman v Superman design. There were some really cool ones that I wanted to get that were based on Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Uh, but I heard online you have to have, like, Hulk hands to be able to fit into that. You have to be, like, huge. And I'm pretty big, but I'm not that big. I don't think they'd work out for me in the long run. But if these don't work, I might have to try those out. So we've got the gloves. Now this is a purple cape. And it actually looks like it came with a mask, too. Now these were all bought on Amazon, and this is a really simple costume idea thing. And it came with a little mask. I probably won't be using that mask, but it could come in handy in the future. So we set the mask aside, and we're going to check out the cape. Now the cape has a really nice, uh, what do you call it, a shiny material. I can't think of the name right now. But here's what it looks like fully, and I don't even know what it looks like. I'm unraveling it for the first time here. Okay, good, it's bigger. Now I'm going to have to iron out these wrinkles here, that'll be one step that I'll be working on in one of the videos. It'll probably be a later video, because I want to work on some things before this. But it's just a very simple, rectangular sheet of uh, fabric, and it goes down pretty far. So it's definitely long enough, um, and it's got a string to hold it together on the top, and it's just really simple. Now what I'm going to be working on on this, aside from ironing out the wrinkles from the folds, is I'm actually going to be cutting it. So I'm going to be cutting it along the lines of a spiky back of the Batman cape on the very bottom. If you look at the back of a Batman, Batman cape, uh, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of spiked and ridged. It gives it a cool effect, and with this purple cape, it should be the right color that I can use for this costume. If worse comes to worse, I'll order a black cape. I'm pretty sure this one will work. It's not quite as dark as I hoped for, but it should still work out for what I need it for. Now here is one piece that I'm going to be working on first, if it works out today. So we're going to find that out right now. Uh, first I'm going to show you it, and then I'm going to try it all on. This, my friends, is a Batman cowl mask. It's actually kind of neat. Uh, it's made out of mostly rubber. Actually, I think it's almost all rubber or vinyl or something. Uh, it's got some Velcro on the back right there that holds it together in the back. Um, I'm just checking it out right now for the first time, so it's kind of a lot to look at. It's based on the Michael Keaton Batman from 1989, so it has a very distinct design to it. And it looks like it's going to work out. There is a little bit of a rip up there, though, which is kind of making me nervous, so I'm going to have to check that out. I might be able to paint over it if there is a rip, or patch it, or I think it's, I don't know if it's a rip, I think it's just a seam, right at the dirty top. 
A little bit of a seam and indents, but I don't know if that's gonna be on all models or it's just my model is affected like that. And it's got a Batman logo right there, which is cool. Now what we're gonna do with this, if it works out today, we're gonna be spray painting it purple, and I think I'm gonna do the Bat Signal, Bat Logo, Batman logo, blue where it's yellow, so that'll be a little bit different, and I might change where the bat actually is, the color of that. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. All right, guys, this is the costume fully on. You can see I've got these gloves or gauntlets, and these are gonna be edited. This is gonna be painted purple once again, but they do fit really nicely. They're a little sweaty inside, but they're actually a really thin material, which is kind of good, because uh, I'm gonna be walking around at a convention, maybe. And this part's a little bit thicker right there. Same thing with this side. Both fit pretty good. Now, uh, the cape is actually pretty cool, too. It's a little small. I can't actually fit it over my like my shoulder area to my arms, which might be a problem, but we'll work on that later on down the line if I can find a better one. And uh, But it does go down to a nice length. It goes down to my ankles, so that's pretty cool that it's longer than I thought it would be. And it has a nice adjustable strap, like just a very simple string down there. I don't know where it is. I can't really tell. And, of course, the mask, which is freaking awesome. I really like this mask so far, but it's a little sweaty in there already. It's only been like five minutes wearing it, or less. So I don't know how it's going to work. I might have to figure something out with this. Maybe wear a hat under it or something, but it is a little tight. People online on Amazon said it was going to be big. Uh, it's about the right size for me, which is good. And also there's some folds because it's like rubber and uh, kind of... And, um... It kind of, like, it's stuck in certain positions. It should work if I, like, stretch it out over time or get, like, one of those head mannequins and keep it on there. I can also put some kind of padding inside these little horns or whatever you want to call them and, uh, straighten out some of the parts because it's a little wonky. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's working. And we're getting there, guys. So this is step one of the Batman cosplay costume that I'm working on. It's based on the 1989 Batman movie, as well as the Batman the Video Game by Sunsoft. So it's going to be a little journey here, working on each piece. And by the way guys, there's a couple pieces that I still need to get, with one of them being a long sleeve purple shirt. Um, maybe blue, maybe purple, maybe kind of like an in-between color. Uh, so I won't be wearing this Batman shirt, by the way. I'm just wearing that for the video. Um, other than that, I got my belt, I got my purple skinny jeans and uh yeah it's pretty cool and i do have boots by the way guys like combat style boots uh so that's kind of cool um and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching it's really hot in here so i'm gonna try to figure out and once again a way to cool myself down when i'm wearing this thing uh it's just kind of like the way it is i guess um but it's really nice design i really like it so far let me know what you think in the comments do you think it's too ridiculous? Do you think it's a uh, good kind of cool ridiculous? It'll look better in the end, hopefully. And I'm really gonna have fun working on it. If if everything else fails with this costume, then at least I had fun with it. Okay guys, thanks for watching Happy Beard Games once again. Stay tuned for more classic gaming goodness. Alright guys, bye! Batman.